बहुत फिक्र अंगेज गुफ्तु की हमारा दिल तो चाहता है कि हम आपकी गुफ्तु को कुछ देर के लिए और सुनते तो मैं अपनी गुफ्तु को मुखसर करते हुए अपने अगले मेहमान को दावत देता हूँ और उनके आने से पहले जय मैं फैज साहब के चंद अशार पढ़ना चाहूँगा यूँ ही हमेशा उलझती रही है जुल्म से खल्क ना उनकी रस्म नई है ना अपनी रीत नई यूँ ही हमेशा खिलाए हैं हमने आग में फूल ना उनकी हार नई है ना अपनी जीत नई फैज़ कल्चरल फाउंडेशन के जनरल सेक्रेटरी हैं तरक्की पसंद फिक्र से उनकी दरीना वाबस्तगी है मैं दावत देता हूँ अक्रम कायम खानी से फैज कल्चरल फाउंडेशन के जनरल सेक्रेटरी हैं कि वो स्टेट पर तशरीफ लाएँ जनाब अक्रम कायम खान आज हम सब यहाँ चौथे फैज मेले के लिए जमा हुए हैं कि हमने ये तंजीम फैज़ कल्चरल फाउंडेशन पाँच साल कबल बनाई ये सिलसिला चल रहा है और दोस्त आते हैं और बड़ी मोहब्बत के साथ और बड़ी मेहनत के साथ इस दिन को सजाते हैं क्योंकि हमारे दरमियान में आज हमारे एक मोहतरम फ़लस्तनी भाई हिज एक्सलेंसी डॉक्टर मैनवल सैसन भी मौजूद हैं तो मैं चाहूँगा कि चंद बातें मैं आपके सामने अंग्रेज़ी में करूं ताकि उन्हें भी पता चले कि हम क्या करने जा रहे हैं डियर कॉम्रेड्स एज यू नो वी आर वर्किंग क्लास पीपल एंड वी आर नॉट सम काइंड ऑफ कमर्शल ऑर्गेनाइजेशन वी आर टोटली वर्किंग जस्ट एन as in ngo you can say as a group who work for not no not for profit and our aim is the aim which given us by faz ahmed faz the message of peace and i i like to tell him that faz ahmed faz always work for the struggle of palestinian people he always supported palestinian cause and we i spent my whole student life for the struggle of palestine we always have procession demonstrations even here in back pakistan and all and i assure you that all the progressive leftist progressive and democratic liberal forces are with you and we always stand by you we always support you and i want you to come up and have few words and explain what is happening and uh, uh, so people can understand please we would like to introduce uh, our distinguished uh, guest he is a professor a uh, palestinian professor who since late 2005 has been palestinian authority uh, diplomatic representative to united kingdom and he's a scholar and his interests are the political science international relation and comparative politics faiz sahab apne jalawatni ke daur mein jaise ki aap sab jante honge ek arsa unhone beirut mein guzara और अपने बैरूत में क्याम के दौरान वो एफ्रो एशियन राइटर एसोसिएशन के मुजल्ला लोटस के अदीतर भी रहे जलावतनी के दौरान फैज़ साहब का फ़लस्तनी जद वजह आज़ादी और ख़ास तौर पर यासर अरफात के साथ एक करीबी रिश्ता रहा प्लीज गिव हिम बिग हैंड टू शो आर सॉलिडेरिटी विद पैलस्टाइन पीपल आर लव फॉर देम एंड दैट वी केयर फॉर देम थैंक यू वेरी मच फॉर दिस नाइस इंट्रोडक्शन I happen to speak five languages unfortunately Urdu is not one of them but it gives me great pleasure and the extreme honor to be with you today to celebrate the Face Cultural Foundation I've heard about Face when I was a young chap I used to be a Marxist and I studied at the American University of Beirut so Lotus is not something that I am not aware of I can see from the faces I can see from your reaction from your body language your love for Palestine and above all not love for Palestine your love for peace and justice yeah. there will never be peace without justice and there will never be justice without peace and this has been the motto of Fez 
which we are honoring today, and we hope that his memory continues with us. I stand before you as the Palestinian representative, a people of whom I'm very proud, a people that has been struggling for the last hundred years for the same right that every single nation in the world. They think they can scare us. They think they can kick us out. Our message to them, we're willing to give our lives and we will never give up our land. Inshallah. If you ask me today, where do we stand with this peace process, the alleged peace process? We embarked on this peace process for the last 20 years. And this is a clear message to us that Israel wants peace by peace Palestinian land. That's what Israel wants. Israel does not want peace with the Palestinians. We know what democracy is all about. We know what political participation is all about. We know what pluralism is all about. Here I stand in front of you, representing Palestine. I'm Armenian by ethnic origin. I'm Christian by religion. I'm Catholic by denomination. I'm Palestinian by birth and citizenship. I'm Arab by nationality and the Muslim by civilization. That's what we are. So we don't need Americans and the Brits to teach us about democracy and pluralism and tolerance. Israel has been occupying our territories for the last six decades. And this conflict has been rendered to be a protracted conflict. A protracted in the sense that two epistemic communities have been fighting for the same land. They call it a disputed land. And this is not a disputed land. This is the land of Palestine. This is the land of our forefathers. They are the colonizers who came and settled in our part of the world. The latest aggression on Gaza have left Gaza totally destroyed. We don't need charity from the big powers. We need them to stand by us for our political rights. We need them to equate the unequivocal support of the alleged honest broker of peace, i.e. the United States. We need the international community to say enough is enough. It is so shameful that the Palestinians are still struggling in the 21st century to accomplish their right for freedom and justice. If Israel thinks by bombarding and by killing are going to create heaven, havoc among us in order to revisit the 1948 Nakba, we tell them you are wrong. Because if they have their nuclear power, we have our demographic power and our power to stay on our land and fight until the end. I don't want to sound like Martin Luther King when he said, I have a dream. I'm sure Pakistanis have a dream for a better life in Pakistan. I'm sure all peoples who are oppressed have the right to have a better future. And we will never have a better future without realizing our aspirations. Everything that you see today happening in the Middle East are transient phenomena. Eventually, the, the dust will settle one day. But there will never be peace and security, not only in the Middle East, but in the world, without the Palestinians having the right to statehood. It is very simple. Everybody knows the equation. And everybody knows what the solution is. I tell you, that there will never be a military solution to this conflict. There will only be a political solution to this conflict. And to spare the blood of innocent lives, the sooner the better. Because I can see it 20 years down the pipeline. 
The United States is not going to be the superpower anymore. I can see that the Islamic world is going to be united. And I can see that the Arab world will stop being factorized, atomized, and fractionalized the way they are today. And I can see that the beginning of the unity between Hamas, Fatah, and the other factions is only a prelude towards a better future, towards a future with peace and justice, towards a future with security. Israel should understand that one of these days, Israel has to make the difficult choice. Either they will be part of the Middle East or they will go back to their original colonies. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, Professor Manuel Hassassian. Uh, our Darmian, uh, uh, acting Pakistani High Commissioner, I give you a gift to Imran Mirza that he will come to the stage and give you your thoughts. Please. Janab Imran Mirza. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, a very good afternoon. It is an honor and great privilege for me to be invited to this FASMIL of 2014. I must commend and congratulate the FAS Cultural Foundation for organizing such a large event to commemorate the genius that was FAS Ahmed FAS. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Pakistan frequently is made headlines in the world for all the wrong reasons. We need to shake off the shadows of this so-called repetition as a country mired in extremism, economic problems, and bad governance. We need to put across to the world the story of Pakistan is much more than is generally told in the international sensational media or simplistic academic analysis. A strong nation is behind this of 180 million, which has shown remarkable resilience and determination. In the face of numerous challenges, ranging from natural calamities to battling of terrorism, the people of Pakistan have always put up a brave front against all these odds. Being at the crossroads of the strategically important regions of South Asia, Central Asia, and West Asia, it had been home to several ancient cultural, including that of the Gandhara and Indus Valley civilizations. This mix of culture and civilizations has given a rich history to this region and has made it ethnically and linguistically diverse. We need to promote the vibrant culture and rich history of our homeland through events that provide entertainment, events that provoke the thought, and events that promote our rich cultural heritage. The Faz Mela is one of, the, one of such attempts on part of the people of Pakistan I believe what makes this Mela so unique is that it covers all the three aspects I just mentioned and also reflects Faz Ahmed Faz's personality. A personality that comprises many facets, that of a poet, an activist, humanist, and a revolutionary. To conclude, I must say that Faz Culture Foundation is one of those few which grow larger each year. I look forward to the day when you have to hire a Piper to hold this event and it will be soon for once again organizing this event successfully. Thank you, Pakistan. Thank you.